right, welcome back to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. Um, we are going to finish up our three bouquet page here in Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. Uh, we've been working on this the last uh, two recordings, and ooh, my package is here. I'm going to have to pause and get my package because, you know. Anyway, so... I changed my mind on the teal background. I don't want teal background because I'm worried it's going to interfere with this blue here. And I don't want to interfere with the blue. So what I grabbed, let me shake that out. Unfortunately, some of it um, broke off in transit from Blick. It's just a little bit in the side right there, so I'm not too... Um, too upset. So I have two pan pastels here and I think they will look lovely and I'm thinking of doing, I don't know, I'm going to have to figure out which way I want to do it. Um, but I have the violet shade and the violet tint. Um, now there is a color in between those and then I also have titanium white here. Um, so I need to decide if, oops, if I want it darker on the inside and then goes light, or if I want it light or light on the inside and then go dark. And I have totally rubbed some of that stuff all over. Shame on me. So, if you remember also, we decided to do these in like a strawberry color nice reds, bright reds. I'm going to use Posca white instead of using black. Um, but these are going to be like highly pigmented red and then kind of lighter on the outside. That's what I want. That's what the look I'm going for. Let me move this out of the way. Get my stuff here. Get it all set out. Not even a little bit prepared, like not even a little bit. <laughs> that is okay. I'm gonna use the smaller, the smaller ones since they are smaller um, flowers. Ooh, that is super wet. All right. So, so let's zoom in and get. To going on this last little bit so let's grab our chili red let's also grab our burgundy yes maybe apricot no let's just do these two so burgundy and chili red I'm going to start out with the chili red. Um, I'm going to do the same thing we did with the blue ones over there. Let's put some down and see how we likes it and what we want to do. Oh, this is just so wet. I don't understand. I didn't squeeze, I don't think. Oh, well. Nice deep red. Very pretty. I'm just going to do it just a touch down there. So I like that. It's a nice red. I'm starting to get into the thing here and I hate. It's the only thing I dislike about these hardback books is you really, really, really have a hard time in the crack, in the crease. In the spine of the book. It's very difficult. Because I'm going to go with Posca, I'm ignoring those little dots. That way I'm making my life just a hair easier. Because could you imagine going over all those little dots? Or around them, I mean. That just seems... 
more difficult than it needs to be. Cats are fighting. Kids are playing. I don't know what I'm having for lunch. Ooh, I know what I'm having for lunch. So I made this email, emails thing is really working out well. So far we're two for two as far as meals. Uh, and the kids like them. That's, that's the bonus part. So we had like chicken and green chili rice last night. Oh my gosh, it was really good. It was really, really good. Um... So I'm excited for the ravioli dish tonight. Because my kids like ravioli. Though I swear to God, I swear, every single dish either requires zucchini or has zucchini as a side dish. And don't get me wrong, like, I dig me some zucchini. But holy moly. Is this like a new thing going? I mean, I like zucchini and all, but give me a green bean side dish on occasion, please. So we're just doing the initial lay down of this red color. Like all the others, we'll go back and tweak and deepen colors where we want it and etc. So I'm gonna go in and do the those little side bits, whatever those are. I don't know what they are. But, so I went and got my nails done. I got cute little autumn harvest type color. And um, I also got a pedicure and I, did the, you know, they have the massage chairs or whatever. And typically, like, the massage chairs are cool, and I like them. And for the most part, I can find a setting that works for me. These chairs, nope. There was no setting that worked, and legit, for two days, my skin was sore to the touch. Like, I felt like my skin was bruised. It was very terrible. And then, like, my shoulders hurt because I, I guess I had, like, tensed up and didn't realize it. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that was, like, not fun. But the lady I had, she was really nice. I'll have to get her again. I also got some non-coloring related goodies. I got a new planner, the Panda Planner Pro. It's supposed to be excellent um, for day-to-day -day planning. Well, you know, the whole week, month, daily planning at least. Um, that's what I got it for. Because like I said, I can remember everybody else's stuff, but I can never remember mine. And it's really getting annoying. Because I'll be sitting here, and I'll be like, oh, I want to do XYZ next week or whatever. And it's not something that needs a calendar thing, like it's cleaning or whatever. Okay, so that was the chili red. Now I'm going to take the burgundy. Um, yeah, these down here are pretty dry. These might take a while. So I'm going to take the burgundy and just go right in here in that dark spot. That is going to add a little bit of a pinky tone, but that's okay because strawberries aren't... I'm, I'm, I'm mimicking strawberries, so strawberries aren't red. I mean, they're red, but they're like a pinky red, which is what this burgundy is adding. Anyway, so, you know, it's like, oh, I, I want to clean the filter on, 
on the vacuum or I want to, you know, I want to sit and plot out my NaNoWriMo. The National Novel Writing Month is in November. I like participating even if I don't like finish a novel. Um, the It's a really good experience. And I, I have fun participating and doing what they, they call them word wars where you're, you're for five minutes you just write as much as you can, never mind about grammar, never mind about sentence structure or, or really anything. You just write. It's free flowing uh, mind dump basically. Um, Either if you're if you're writing for a specific character, or if you're writing a book, and it's just a mind dump of of what you want to happen in the book, and you do some basic structure, but it's not it's not like huge. So, but I enjoy that. I enjoy that aspect. So I need to begin doing that. But then I I get bogged down with. Well, the kids need school clothes, and my husband needs breakfast sandwiches, and I need to do laundry. So I get bogged down by all like the the day to day life stuff, and I tend to push what I want to do to the wayside. And I'm I really need to get better about that. Um, so I'm hoping this. Panda Planner will help with that. So you can see the difference. It's much darker. I'm not going to go too much more than this. I think this is pretty okay. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with that color. I might come back in with the red again. We'll see. Do you guys find that as well? Um, I know I can't be the only one. I mean, I'm positive I'm not the only one, but I, I just, and yes, coloring is for me and, and whatnot, but it is already something I fit in and um, so it's not something I really have to plan out too much. It's, it's right in my face, so it's not something I forget about. Um, whereas the stuff that's not in my face, like the... I want to learn video editing, and I sometimes forget to do that in the, the midst of kid... Hi, pumpkin pie. Um, I'm hungry. Can I get something to eat outside? No, you're knocking my camera. I will call you guys in for lunch in 15 minutes, okay? Zoe? No, I'm not feeding you a snack this close to lunch. Oh, the end of the world right there. It is actually really close to lunch, so I'm going to have to pause this and do the lunch thing. With the kiddos. I still need to go and get, pick up Zoe's soccer ball. She decided, well not she decided, but um, her soccer group got a voucher for a free soccer ball. I just gotta go pick it up. Unfortunately it's at a mall and I hate going to malls if I, ha I can avoid it. Um, I'm going to try a little extra red on... No, not that one. This one. This one went really purple or pink. 
I'm gonna try a little bit. But I don't really think it needs it. It's just, I don't really think it. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with them the way they are. So I have to do the innards again. I'm gonna take this nice lemon yellow. Just real quick, just slide it all in there. These really do melt when you put water to them. So you don't have to go too crazy. Now I'm gonna take my green, which is the grass green. I'll start doing the, this is gonna be a super quick one, much quicker than the other two. The other two were about an hour. I mean, it's gonna be about an hour with the background and whatnot, but. Like the flowers aren't gonna take an hour. Nope, those need to dry. So, let's go on and wet down all this green here. I've had a lot of fun with this page, I have to say. It's a, it's a very simplistic page, but that lends itself to, to really doing some cute things with this watercolor. Um, I normally wouldn't think to do. A bigger page can be kind of overwhelming, especially with watercolor. Um, this is, I think this is a perfect amount of stuff. And really, you gotta think, this is pretty quick. Normally, I can take anywhere from eight to 16 hours to color a page, um, which spans then over the course of three weeks, two weeks, three weeks. So this, I'm gonna grab my tawny now. This was super quick. I'm just going in the middle. I'm not gonna bother those little you little ones on the outside. It was super quick, super fun. So in, in, in that context, these really were super quick. Let's see, where's my walnut? Grab the walnut here. I'm not waiting like I should. Just a little bit. Extra shadow. All right, so let's take not the aquamarine. Let's take the emerald green. We're just going to do some quick, easy shading in here. Nothing too crazy. Kind of actually want to keep these mostly that spring green. So I'm not going to go too nutso with the emerald. And that way it just kind of sets it apart from the blue flowers. Well, just enough to give it a bit of dimension here. So 
really, I think that's it. Let me get my white Posca. Get my small one. So this is the Uni Posca, the PC One MR, which is that really fine tip. Let me just. I'm gonna pause it, shake it up, and come back. Okay, that took much more effort than I thought it needed. So I'm just going in and adding in white little dots. go buck wild and highlight all you want I'm really not good at that <laughs> I'm trying to get better but I always wonder if I am crossing the threshold from cute to too much all right so I'm gonna back it out here and now what I'm going to do is get a piece of paper to protect this side. Nope. Okay, so this is where the mess comes in. So, I don't know which way I want to do this. So I'm gonna do a test swatch right here and then like lay it and see how I want to do it. So I'm going to start with my lightest color which is going to be the titanium white. Then you wipe off. I come in with the blue or the violet tint. Bring it in here. I'm going to make quite a, like I don't want a whole lot of white so I'm, I'm going to bring the violet tint pretty far into the white blend that in and wipe that off and then come in with the violet shade wipe that off back in with the violet tint and really blend that in so that's kind of how um, I want to do it so it's kind of the gradient I'm going for now I can go light to dark have it dark out here and light in the center or I can go that'd be high drama do I want high drama or do I want low drama that's the key isn't it take this off here what do I want I don't think I want high drama I think I'm gonna go light to dark so that will be what I do and instead of wiping off on this I'm actually gonna wipe off on this so let's make sure what we got is clean and ready to go wipe everything off wipe it all off brush it off brush it off I need a paper under here just in case it can get messy so I'm gonna start on this side and work my way in I'm gonna start with the dark you can see I've, I've used this before but if I 
go on here there's hardly anything there so I have no qualms um, and they say that you can wash this with soap and water and uh, dry it and it's good for a few so I'm gonna take my violet shade and get some on there can you see then I'm just putting it on here You do circles. This this thing doesn't really do well with circles. So back and forth is kind of what I'm going for. Really want that corner dark. And then I'm going to come down. Really let it just naturally lighten up. So that's that part. Now I'm going to come and, and really wipe this off good. Really wipe it off good. I'm going to come in with the violet tint. See it on there? Blend it in. And I'm going to get as close as I can to these flowers. Um, let's see. Let's go into the dark over here. Before I start using my small... this thing, the detail. So maybe this will be a bit more drama than maybe I thought it would be. Whatever, I don't care. It, it's gonna look cute, no matter what, so. Oops. And, and you know what? It's okay. You can erase it. So just get as close as you're willing to. I'm going to pull the dark in just a bit further. Because there's nothing here, you know. Nothing here. Let's just... Go with what we can. So I'm going to come down here. So I'm curious, is anybody into fountain pens? Um, and I'm not talking like... The stuff you get at Staples. Well, maybe you could get really nice fountain pens at Staples. Maybe I shouldn't pigeonhole like that. Shame on me. Alright, so. Don't do this. Shame on me. Just wiping this off here. be better. I was worried that the paper or the napkin will rip it. No, I'm talking um, like fountain pens where you fill fill your own ink. Um, so I just bought this and it's pretty pretty inexpensive actually. It was only 20 bucks. Um, I really dig this and I put in some brown ink so 
I'm I'm already planning buying more. Just saying, because I'm a terrible person. Um, you know what? Let me grab some of my other stuff here. All right, so I've got a couple different options here. Let's see. I'm going to grab this one. And just It just slides right on. Well, slides as much as these things can slide. They're really kind of not sticky so much as, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to use this one on let's get we're getting this is the violet tint oh i really like this purple much better than i think i would have liked the teal and don't worry if you get some of the color on the picture you can erase it even even with it just being watercolor pencil It'll still erase just fine. Don't worry about it too much. And I'm really putting a lot down, guys. Because um, I really want to saturate this paper. What do you think? Too much? Not enough. Be curious what you guys think in the comments. Go ahead and leave a comment down below um, for what you think here. I'm digging it. I like the purple. I don't do. To me, the this is an odd color for a background, like skies are blue and you know roses are red and violets are violet and so this is way out of my comfort zone believe it or not so I'm really curious what you guys think let's see let's get some of that darker back in here get that all nice and Part up here that I needed darker. Didn't get dark enough. Alright, so back to the violet tint. But yeah, I'm so curious what you guys think. I can't wait to see those comments. I'm digging it. Um I kind of I kind of want to do some like paint splatter some white paint splatter because my random is not random as hard as I try to be random it, it doesn't work out for me um, so if I want truly random anything I have to do something like that like paint splatter or whatever I'm getting to the point where I'm getting fairly close into these flowers and I don't really want to, I mean, like I said, I can absolutely, I may not even use the white. I may just take the light purple. Maybe I'll mix it. We'll see. Just stick some in there and then take the white and blend it. That'd be pretty. I'm getting where it's getting close, so I'm not comfortable using this bigger one anymore. Which is fine, it happens. It's cool. That's that's how it goes. So Alright. Now gonna go
go, I'm going to take the white. So this is the titanium white, just pure white. And grab some of that on here and let's start. Oh, nerves. So it's going to be like a, a very light violet color right next to the, uh, the flowers. This is not the most precision of tools, but I don't really have a whole lot to work with here. But that's okay. Do with what you got, right? I'm really using the white paper in some spots, or as white as paper as this gets. So I'm really using the white paper in some spots instead of taking, you see I'm holding it with my fingernail because otherwise if I put my fingers on it, um, don't do that. Um, if I put my fingers on it, then I will get color transfer and I don't want that because then you have like oils on the paper and pastels and oils don't really mix very well so trying to avoid mixing like that if at all possible really need to work on the transition right here really need to work on that so I'm grabbing some of the tint the violet tint that's better there is a color in between the violet shade and the violet tint which is just the violet um, but I did not buy that so I don't have it Otherwise, it would have helped this little transition bit. But again, work with what you got. There. That's a little less harsh. I'll work on that up there too. So, a bit of give and take, push up, pull down. Oh, much better, much better. Blending all that out. All right, so back to the white. Normally I would spin this around so I could really get in there, but 
this is just fine. My Fitbit is telling me to move. I've been trying to listen to it lately. Um, trying to work out more too. Been using the uh, what you call it, the rowing machine my husband bought for his birthday. It was pretty like of all the. Um, like home gym equipment you can buy that rowing machine was really really inexpensive I have to say and he loves it so I know I'm hitting a lot of the flower and that that's okay. I will go in uh, with an eraser. I have a mono eraser. I'll just go in with that and make sure. All the bits. Kind of like that. And could you imagine like coloring this? Coloring the whole background? You can do the same effect with watercolor. You don't have to have the pan pastels. Um, or any, pa yeah, I mean you can do it with any pastel and you can do it with any watercolor. You don't have to have the pan pastels. Uh, to do this effect. You can just buy these little things and take and, you know, shave your pastel onto the onto the paper like I do with all my others and with the Mungo pastels and the Derwent pastel pencils. I do that. I shave them onto the paper and go from there. All right. Getting to the end. Oh my goodness, my husband's computer did that all last night. We're just like, do you? it was running an update or something oh, I'm not gonna go like too far in this way Ooh, itch grab some of that violet just to give just to give um, the white a bit of a tint I don't necessarily want it like white um, I don't want it violet either. So look at how milky all of that looks. Oh, it doesn't look that milky to you guys. Shoot, I may not may not mess with it then. No, I will because I know me. It'll bug me. I know me. So, now I'm not going to take any color on this. I mean, this is just whatever color's on there. There's a little bit. It's not a whole lot. And I'm just going to blend.
and I try to get rid of as much of the harsh lines as I can. Um, not always possible, but I can try, right? No harm in trying. There. There, I'm happy. So now I'm going to take, I have two different mono erasers. I have the, the little dot one and I have the rectangle one. So for the big stuff, I'm taking the rectangle. Sometimes that's all I'll need. I didn't get too much that I feel it's actually like changed the picture. I'm not rubbing very hard. Just enough to get off the pan pastel. But not enough to rub off any of the color. And yes, I've had that happen, not specifically with the Arteza watercolor, but I have had that happen with another watercolor. I went to go erase and I was like, nope, you have now erased the color. Like, but it's watercolor, what do you mean I've erased the color? Oh, this just makes me want to play with my pan pastels more. Alright, so let's get everything off of here. It needs something. It does. It needs something. And that something is going to be um, white. Ooh, I could do silver. Nah, I'll just do white acrylic splatter. Oh my goodness. Give me just a second here. Okay, so I have just regular matte acrylic paint in white. Really don't need a lot, just a little. I'm gonna take my one of my water brush pen, water brush pens, squeeze a little bit of water in there. Ooh, that one drop might be enough. And then I have a nice stiff um, brush. I mean, that's some, can you hear that? Super stiff, okay? Mix up the water. This will get messy. I'm kind of squeezing out some of the water. I'm just using my hand as a, oh, this does a nice fine mist. I like that. Kind of just doing it in the darker spots. I 
Well, that's pretty cool, actually. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on. I'm so messy. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can I lift this up without... So I don't know if you can see that fine mist of acrylic, white acrylic paint. I dig that. Ooh, I'm going to have to do that more often. I dig that a lot. I dig that a lot. Okay, so this is our final product. It is time for me to name and date. Always, always, always. It is 820. And then I will go spray this with um, fixative. I use, um, oh, I put it up. I use the Krylon workable fixative on this type of stuff. I will spray that. It will actually deepen the colors. So when you see this on my Instagram or you see this on the Facebook poster or in Hannah Carlson's, I'll also post this in the Hannah Carlson group. It will look slightly darker because the workable fixative will darken it just a hair. I dig this, guys. I am so happy to have done this. Thank you for joining me. Some of it was uh, quite an experiment for me. Some of it wasn't. But I, I, I dig these little bouquet, this little three bouquet picture. Um... And I think the violet could have worked either way, either dark in the center and light in the end. Could have done either way, but I love, I love the paint splatter. I think I'm going to have to do that more often. Thank you all for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell button to get notifications for when I upload next. Um, I have a list of some stuff that people wanted to see, so I'm going to try to work on that. Girls go back to school next week. So I will have much more free time with which, oh look at that, my poor manicure. I'll have much more free time, <laughs> I should have worn gloves, it's all over my hands. Um, I have much more free time to work on that. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.